come and paint this Polish countryside for my grandpa with me. I'm measuring it out to this massive canvas because it's my first time doing such a large canvas. And I'm penciling it all in first. I wasn't prepared to do such a big canvas in a week and um, yeah, I'm quite proud that I got this done in a week. Um, definitely not a perfect painting, but I'm happy with how it turned out considering I have such a short amount of time to finish it. And you will see that I just kind of do like a first base layer for the paints and then I go over everything later. So at first it's gonna look quite childlike and that's just my style of painting. I just go through it like a base layer and then the top coat is what I think always matters most. And this original brown is actually better than the next brown. The next brown is gonna be more white, so you'll see. And also the same with this green. It's not quite the exact color of green that I wanted, but I made it work. You will see in the end. So this painting took me in total 179 minutes around. Uh, I didn't film everything, so that's about three hours in total, um, which is not long considering it took me a week to finish because I was waiting for the coats to dry in between and um, it just takes me a while to paint and I get really tired too so I took many breaks in between. I didn't get to film this blue part but that's okay. And I wish I made these tree stumps a little bit less branchy because in the end I have had to cover the branches with a lot of leaves and uh, yeah, if I could do this over I would have just done more straight trees and less branches. Now I'm going over the green with a different color and actually it was good that I had the base color because as you can see now you can kind of see that the turquoise was shining underneath, is shining underneath and um, yeah it turned out pretty decent since it's like I'm trying to get the perspective element of this painting so I just did darker grass in the back and then lighter grass in the front and then you will see at the end how I finish it off. This part was probably the trickiest because I had to reach so high. So I got somebody to turn it sideways for me to make it easier. And I finished the sky and I wasn't 100% happy with it, but I just kept mixing the paints and then using different brushes to get the cloud details. And I came to the conclusion, I always come to the conclusion that messy, messy natural paintings, like if you're painting something that's supposed to look natural and realistic, like an outdoor scene, the messier the better sometimes. And I asked my partner to put a piece of tape down the middle for me because it was going to be too difficult for me to do that. If it was a smaller painting I could have done it and if it was higher up, mm, questionable. <laughs> I probably could have done it honestly if I had just those slippers underneath on either side and then I probably could have done it myself if I had to. As for turning it sideways, I don't think I could do that by myself. It's a massive painting. So now you can see I'm going over the dirt road with a lighter brown, and I think it was actually too light. It doesn't look as realistic as the original brown. That's the only thing I would have really liked to fix, but it's okay, I made it work. Now I took off the tape and it looks much more professional. A straight line is much better than a crooked line on the horizon it makes it look a lot more professional and realistic and now I'm just adding all the extra leaves and I'm trying to actually separate them from the branches that will be there since that will give it a more realistic effect. I got a lot of different colors of leaves also to make it look more realistic and I, I would say that this wasn't my best work. I could have done it better if I kept looking at the picture, but I just did it my own way and I like how it turned out. The sky is probably my favorite. The sky is the most realistic 
aspect of this painting. Now I'm adding some branches, and this was probably the most difficult part since I had to reach so far up, so my arm definitely got the most tired from this. Especially with the straight lines, I was trying to get as straight but like realistically crooked, so it wasn't the worst, I mean, at least they don't have to be perfect. Now I'm just adding some grass on the bottom, and I'm not really caring about the background too much, and if I did care about the background too much, then I would have lost a lot of paint, so this is a good way to save paint. It's not always going to be perfect the first time, so that's why you kind of just cover your mistakes, and it will all come together in the end. And a painter is never fully satisfied with their paintings. I heard that once, and it really resonates with me, I can always add more to my paints and I kind of get a little bit tired and sidetracked and I just don't like to spend too much time overthinking doing the painting or else I won't even get it done to begin with. And now I'm done! I just added some flowers at the end and this is the final result. I'm super duper happy with it and my grandpa was really happy with it. I just added some little dirt patches with like a makeup brush, like a wide makeup brush, and um, yeah, just added a couple extra details. You can see that the leaves are not connected fully, and I think that makes it more realistic, and yeah, that's how it turned out. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're able, and I will definitely be doing more different intricate videos in the future, like this.